In this quick video, we'll be going over how to slice or prepare a part for printing on the Polar Cloud. This is a web slicer. It also connects to your printer directly so you can send prints from your browser, from your smartphone, from your tablet, anything. So let's go ahead and sign in. And from here, I upload an object. So if I click upload, I can pull objects in from Google Drive or from my hard drive. Here we've got just a simple calibration cube. So here I'm able to view the object or load to build plate. It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and click view object. Here's the object. I click 3D print and I click open slicer. Here it's loaded on my virtual build plate. I need to choose a printer from this list that I want to print from. If I only have one, that's not difficult to do. But you can review the printer, the status, and how many jobs it has in queue. If I click print, sorry, if I click this Adventure 5M Pro, I can confirm some very basic settings. If I need more uh, detailed settings, I toggle this advanced print settings, and I can go in and change the infill type, support type, all these sorts of things. I can even choose which type of slicer I'd like to use but normally just the defaults are good enough. So let's go ahead and click print. This doesn't actually start the print. This will put the job in the back of the printer's queue. So here's this print job, waiting to slice is being sent to our servers. Slicing is completed. It tells me 15 minutes, six cents, 100 layers, and about three and a half grams of plastic. Once this printer's done printing, I'll go ahead and send it to the printer.